What's going on, boys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're on Fast Lane by Gray. Now this is his first ever track, and it's a Supercross track. So not a lot of people do their first ever tracks on a Supercross track. So it's rather interesting, but we'll um we'll see how it is. From the pictures, it actually looks very very long. So we're gonna see. Someone did say that the uh, the time and the scoring doesn't work, but I believe the map won't work if the time and the scoring doesn't work. So I'm not sure. I think it must be fine. But yeah, I've not actually um, seen much of this track. There's only like one or two, I think there's only one picture on the mod, so you don't really get to see a lot before you download it. But uh, yeah, there was no outdoor tracks or anything, so I thought, oh, why not hop on Supercross again, freshen myself up a little bit on Supercross. Haven't actually done it pretty much since Supercross, really. Um, but yeah, I'm trying Quick Shift as well. As you guys know from previous videos, I've had it on now for about two, three days or so. Oh my god, there's like a bump there. I've had it on for about two, three days or so now. And uh, yeah, I'm still enjoying it. I'm still liking it. Uh, I did find out the other day that my uh, forward and back and left, right lean were different. So I went to my settings video, which I have on my channel. And yeah, it turns out they were different. So I changed it back and it feels a lot better now. So I was actually playing on different settings in the last three, uh, about three days or so. So but yeah, so uh, we changed back now and it's my first time trying quick shift on Supercross. And I'm almost Supercross up. So it should be all good. Shouldn't be anything wrong. No line out or setup or anything like that. So should be getting the full experience here. Okay, I'm not sure what to do for this room. This is the hardest thing about doing Supercross tracks for the first time, like on video, because... You never know the lines, you know, it normally takes you about three or four laps or so to uh, to learn a super strike, so sort of trying to figure it out as I go along, always looking ahead, trying to see where where everything is basically. What's this, a woot section? Oh my god, that is a long old woot section. It, up into fifth. Oh my word, that is a quick section. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, there's bumps in the corners which you can't see. There's like, not a glare on my screen, but it's like daytime, obviously, while I'm recording this, so. Don't really get to see it too much, and the dirt texture is very dark, so it's very hard to see what I'm, what I'm doing. Can you go on, off, double, triple? Okay. It's all very close together, but very spaced out at the same time, it's weird. So, we, what we got here? Right under, we got super triple, right, okay, and then dragons back, up into fourth. Whoop section, we'll go up into fifth. Oh my word, there's some weird gaps between them. That's a little S turn area, a little triple, double. A uh, table triple jump thing. <laughs> okay, lovely stuff. And then again, a whoop section. There's a lot of whoop sections in it, which is good. A lot of practice if you guys want to practice your whoops. Oh, then you can't very sure on that. Okay, nice left hander. We're going to triple out of this again, maybe. Oh, we need a lot of speed to triple that. I'm not sure what to do for this room. It's very big. Triple, triple out. Okay, right. Must be like a triple or a quarter or something in. This is just a very small double. Which you can launch, come out wide, come in a bit. <laughs> Get five through the whoops. Little dragons back that you can scrub, and then the finish jump. So yeah, I think like a they were correct about time and scoring that your laps don't actually count. So it must be a checkpoint or something that's messed up somewhere on the track. But it's a very very not long supercross track, but it's kind of long. The first section is 40, that 34 seconds and 45 seconds middle sector. So it's quite a long track to fair, so well over a minute. And another thing about this quick shift is that it's so good to go up gears. Sometimes I forget what gear I'm in, like how high of a gear I'm in. Because like you can go quicker, so you just keep shifting up. And then you end up you know, coming out of a whoop section in fifth all of a sudden. Right, we're going to double, double. We're going to try some different lines. We go on. No, that is not on. Oh my. Okay. Do need to start getting to practicing for Millville at some point. Maybe I'll... Uh, to load up the old TFC Millville at some point. Just get a bit of practice just to learn the layout, really. It's all it really is. Um, you know, the TFC and Stone Ride track is going to be completely different. So it's just going to be all about just trying to practice the layout, really. I think the layout has changed a little bit this year. I mean, you don't have that big double, like, set down thing that we have on the TFC track. That's gone now. You sort of, it's just a rough roller. Oh my god, I'm coming in quick. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what the new layout is like in game because obviously we watched it in real life and it was very very rough. The rollers were a lot bigger. But yeah, I'm, I'm feeling much better in the game now that I've figured out my lean turns, my forwards and back, my left and rights were set to default because when you put the quick shifter on, it's like all the steam overlay stuff, so you kind of have to change everything around it, resets all your settings and everything. So sort of had to remember them and I totally forgot to change them settings so I had to go back to my video watch it and now I don't know it feels a lot better now so it must have been what I was using because that video is from like pre-LAN event so it's quite an old video but it's pretty much the same so that I use now anyway I think the only things I've changed is like my gain and lean but I always fiddle around with them so they're just personal preference and 
So you don't really have to fiddle around too much with gain and direct lean. Just sort of, you know, put it how you want it, wherever you feel comfortable. Because everyone runs different. Everyone runs, like, different settings. Like, for example, in Supercross, everyone was running, like, 100 direct lean. I was even using 100 direct lean for Supercross. And then you get Tyler, for example, who won the championship. He was, said, I think he was on, like, 45% direct lean or something like that. So... You don't actually have to run what everyone else is running. Just do whatever you're comfortable with. That's the thing with these games. They're very comfortability based. You know, if, if you feel comfortable in the game, you'll be quicker at the game. If you feel uncomfortable, but you're running whatever everyone else is using, you're not going to be quick. So it's just all about finding, you know, the midpoint to what you're comfortable on. And yeah, that's what gets you good at the game. Really, it's all about being comfortable. So hopefully we can just get a bit more practicing before Millville get comfortable. Because I felt good at Red Bud. I've mentioned it before, but I felt good in Red Bud Mo 1. And hopefully, I can feel the same in Millville because I, I felt like I was riding good and I feel like I get a good result. And Millville, I don't know, Millville is an enjoyable track. I feel like with the hills and everything, the only thing that I don't like is that big uphill, which is going to be very, very dodgy for this game because now with this new Beta 19 update with the front ends being so light, you get to the almost the top point of the, uh, the hill and your bike just gets so light that the front end wants to go. So I wonder what Stone is going to do with that, whether he makes it like rolled off at the top a little bit. So like when you get to the top, you sort of, you'll stay on the ground because it rolls off. Because if it's on the Millville, uh, the TFC Millville, it's like a jump. You can jump into the corner. So it's like lip to the top a little bit. So yeah, you become like weightless for like a millisecond, which makes the front end go all lighter. So you kind of got to either go really steady up it, or you basically just got to wick all the way up and just try and jump it. So it's going to be difficult. With these, uh, with the whole feels hill physics, we all know what they're like in this game. So, should be good though. I don't see why it would be like impossible, but you know, it got very, very rough in real life. So I wonder if they're going to run the E road higher or just make it rougher, like the actual track rougher. I'm hoping they don't run the E road really high because they did that at Red Bud and that just ruins the race. And it's really, really awkward to go quick when you're on high E road because it just, it's not even that I'm trying to go like too quick. It's just they get all jaggedy at the top of the ruts where the ruts are built weird and they get all like spiky at the top so if you go a little bit high on the right it literally it just spits you off the bike it's impossible to come back from it so it's just annoying you know it's just like there's a few game things that you need to sort of work with on the tracks and then you sort of work around the physics on the track to the point and then the e-road gets bad and ruins it it's like it's like three things you have to work on just to make a race enjoyable and that's e-road the track and the physics so you have to sort of cater for everything and i feel like some tracks just aren't catered like that especially red bud with the ruts because they were built so high they get so like jaggedy at the top and spiky so yeah it was just it was really awkward the ruts are really bad i think everyone was struggling mode too no one really like enjoyed the second race and even in, i was in a pub lobby yesterday and people complained about the tracks saying that the ruts are terrible that you know the ruts don't actually do anything that don't hold you they're all spiky you go a little bit high and you get spat off the bike but I don't know, it's just that Red Bud with E-Road doesn't mix for some reason. I don't know why, it just didn't seem to work properly. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, racing is racing. And I guess people just have to suck it up, really, I suppose. Not really much that we can do about it. People give their feedback and they don't like it. So, not really much that you can do about it, to be honest. Even when you give feedback, you know, half the time nothing really changes. So, it is what it is. Not really much you can do about it from, like, a rider standpoint. You just got to kind of deal with it as it comes. So, but, yeah, back to the track. I feel like for a first chat, this is a very good track very different for someone to do a supercross track as their very first ever track not a lot of people do that a lot of people just do like a very easy amateur kind of um outdoor track but the one feedback i would give is these ruts so ruts don't actually do anything like these ones here for example like if you just go over a little bit that you just roll over it like there's not much that you can do and the visibility is kind of you don't really see the ruts that you see here you can't really tell that it's a rut there so you end up going a little bit high and then you end up just rolling over like I just did in your front tire because you don't actually see the rut. So, a little bit of feedback. I would say make the ruts a little bit bigger so they actually properly hold you. Oh, God, I'm not going to get up this now, am I? No. Uh, but, yeah, make the ruts a little bit bigger. And uh, definitely that would make a massive, massive improvement to how the track rides. Maybe do, like, inside line and outside line. And, yeah, I think I think that, though, I think everything's kind of good. It's not meant to be a difficult track. It's not like, a difficult track by any means. Nothing too difficult. I am actually going to turn around. I'm going to try this line for a minute because I don't actually know what that line is through there. It's got to be something because I don't really... I don't know. I'm not really getting anywhere with it. So let's just try... Okay, I need to remember that there's a right here. So let's go up a little bit high. So what are we doing? Triple. Triple. Is it just triple, 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 triple? Triple, 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 triple. Right, so triple. 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 
triple singles. There is a chord in there somewhere. Definitely a chord in there somewhere. Maybe, I don't know. Can we quad in, possibly? I don't really know. This rut's kind of weird. You can't really, it doesn't really hold you at all. So you've got to kind of really be gentle with it. No, I definitely quad into that. Triple, I don't know. Maybe you just have to single out. Because I don't think anything's quadable in that. Could be completely wrong. You're probably watching it right now and saying, why are you not quadding? But I don't know where that quad is. <laughs> Guess triple, 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 single. How many ever triples there were in there? I lost count. <laughs> And I would make the dragon's back a little bit bigger as well, because it's kind of just like a bumpy uphill, kind of just like a bumpy double. But I think for a very, very first track, this is an enjoyable track. I believe he has released a new track since this. It was a... I can't remember what it's called now. It's like Motor Park, something like that. I can't remember what it's called. But it's on mods as well. He released it about 12 hours ago as recording this. Um, so yeah, definitely check that out. This is his first ever track though. And uh, yeah, all completely free on MXC Mods if you guys are interested. It's called Fast Line, I believe it is. So yeah, definitely get this track. But yeah, I think that'll do it from me. But yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Like, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.